rugged exterior, you can see it's got steel bumpers that are they're painted, so if they're harder to scratch than a vinyl, you know, soft rubber one. If you do, you can still paint it. It's got the uh, wheel flares to help against the scratches and help in the brush. It's got a rugged off-road uh, tire. It's an LT, a light truck tire, not a passenger tire, so it's more puncture resistant. Carry heavier your load. It's got skid plates underneath on the 4x4 to give you that, that ruggedness, durability that you need. And then the third thing is refinements and comfort on the inside that you need for long trips. Right? If you're going to the lake, you're going hunting, you're probably going to be driving a lot. We, we made a 32 gallon tank standard instead of the 26. We put a lot of lights on it, on the inside and the outside, because you're out in the dark again, camping, etc. You don't have a lot of street lights. Um, so we've had, we built the truck around what the, what the user does. 10 way power driver seats so you get comfortable. Uh, we had really good success with it so far. Here's a couple more features. You can see there's a Ram box holster that we've offered. And the, the truck to your left here has a ram box in it. The holster will hold up to two guns on each side. Long guns, even if it's got a scope, you can fit it in there. And it can be converted to fishing rods. And there we show the, uh, with the four and seven pin connector, how they're up above the bumper. Laramie Longhorn, again, this is our answer to uh, Ford's premium trucks, the King Ranch and the Platinum. If you haven't seen it, you need to go over and take a look at that interior. It's the best looking interior in the market with all the filigree scroll work inside. It's all leather. Here's a couple of the features you can see from here. The, the instrument cluster not only has that filigree band around the outside, but when you turn on the lights at night, it's, it's backlit. It's a beautiful interior. And also, it's got a, a saddlebag looking uh, map pocket on the back of the seats. Again, you can see in the vehicle. Great design. We just launched it in December. We're having really good luck with it. Uh, if, if, you're, if you like to drive the ultimate truck, or maybe one in your future. The Tradesman, then. The Tradesman is designed as a work truck. Okay? We, our base uh, trim level, you might be familiar with, is the ST. And what we did is we took our standard ST truck, we added it, which in a 1500 comes with a 3.7 V6. We added a 5.7 liter Hemi engine. We added a class four receiver hitch. We put a better looking steel wheel on the outside. And we only raised the price $995. Now the engine alone is worth over $2,000. And the reason we did it is we needed a stronger entry for a work truck. Our dealers wanted us to just lower prices and, we, and, and take content out. We really didn't want to because we knew that that would suck, it would, you know, would hurt the the ownership experience, right? You still got to have certain features. So what we did is we, we put the Hemi in and just didn't charge for it. The reason we did that is the Hemi gets such a great fuel economy, you're not suffering. Chevy standard 4.3 liter V6, which is the number one base work truck you know, power plant out there, has 195 horsepower. We have 390. We have tri twice the horsepower. Well, guess what? They both have the same EPA highway fuel economy of 20 miles per gallon on two-wheel drive. The Chevy V6 gets one better city. So why sacrifice if you don't have to? Why would you buy the Chevy with half the power and the same fuel economy? Only one reason, price. We took that away. We just launched the truck. It's been out there a month, and our sales have grown quite a bit. Our regular cab sales are up 35% last month alone. And we're really excited about this truck. Now there you can see some of the some of the uh, differences in the in the trucks. I'm gonna walk over a little bit, get away from the mic. I want to think there's a laser here. So right here you can see there's the tradesman, there's the L point fifty base engine, base truck XL, there's the silver rod. 390 horse, 302, 195, 407 pounds feet of torque. Can't hear you. Okay. <laughs> We've got 400 pounds feet of torque. They're under 300. The biggest thing advantage we have though is in trailer towing capability. 9100 versus 5500 and 4000 on the Chevy. 
So again, this truck is built for work, it's priced right, and it's a great value. Another new truck we launched is a Ram 1500 Express. It also comes with the Hemi. This is more, this is another regular cab. And again, it's for the, the customer who's not necessarily going to use it for work, but more for play. Same formula, free Hemi, but this time you got dual exhaust, you've got the body colored front and rear bumpers, fascia. It's a very stylish looking truck. There you can see some other colors, see the dual exhaust. And again, it's a very low price. It too is just launched last month and selling real well. There's a competitive comparison of the engines. If you look, you can see the, the, the box in the upper left. I don't know, is this too much of an eye chart for you out there? Okay. Now, again, I'll just tell you, we've got twice the horsepower of the Chevy V6, same fuel economy. Uh, Toyota's got a 5.7 engine, just same size as our Hemi. Who would you guess would have more power, Ram or Toyota? Who would you guess would have better fuel economy? Ram, that's right, not Toyota. So that's, that's the thing about this engine, it's just a great power plant. And we're using it to, to help us sell more trucks and we're getting the message out about it. Um, some other changes that are coming up this year, we've got, how many of you own a 1500 a light duty besides your heavy duty? A couple? How many are interested in them? A few? I'm going to go faster than that. That helps me. Um, we've got a new wheel on our big horn package on the light duty. It's probably not a, a huge deal for you. But if you look at the red truck that's up there, it's a, it's a long horn, but it's a monotone. So we launched this Longhorn two-tone last year with the lower uh, two-tone in white gold paint. You can now get it monotone in 2012. So if you're interested in that nice looking interior with all those great features, but you want a monotone, you can now get it. And then on the heavy duty side, again, you've probably heard about the high output Cummins, 800 pounds feet of torque. 30,000 pounds of gross combined weight rating and best in class trailer towing capability at 22,700 pounds. Still best in class with no diesel exhaust fluid, best in class braking, and an unsurpassed powertrain warranty. Power wagon, we don't offer the diesel. Are you interested in that at all? Not so much. <laughs> it is the most capable truck off-road truck out there. Uh, you got locking front and rear differentials that you know, no one else offers from the factory. It is a beast. So here's some features on our, on our new heavy duty. How many of you own the new body style heavy duty? This one, so most of you own the, the older ones. So, so this is just some differences, maybe some new product features. The six, seven high output we talked about. Electronic range select and tow haul with the automatic transmission modes let you let you shift uh, hold your highest uh, gear great for trailer towing for holding your speed down as well uh, max tow package of thirty thousand GCWR um, integrated trailer brake controller we offer now from the factory superior brake pad resistance with the new truck they increased the brake size. <laughs> rear park assist and rear backup camera we offer from the factory. Um, and again, a lot of different uh, trailer towing class 4 hitch receiver standard, the 4 and 7 pin connector that we talked about that standard on the heavy duty as well. And all new for next year, in 2012, is a, a new entry to the Ram truck lineup, and it's our, our cargo van. And we didn't just take the, the caravan and, and you know, bring it over with no changes. It's got an all new floor, load floor for people who are working, and black belt the windows in the back. And we're, this is just an example of how we can take the brand now, since we've decoupled from the Dodge car, and offer more utility, more trucks, to offer a wider range of, of uh, needs for our customers. There you see the line. So we talked earlier about quality, and they've done a lot of things here to help improve the quality. 
our engineers take trucks, ours, competitors, and, and look at fit and finish. And we looked at the percentage of our perceived quality. And we did it with light duty, ran 1500, finished second only to the Chevy. On heavy duty, beat them all. We've really made a lot of big changes. So that's testimony of the great job these guys are doing in the plants here, and also our, our uh, engineers. Um, then when you actually look at things gone wrong, Ram truck improved 17% from 2010 to 09. Great improvement. And this shows you by category. The, uh, the tough one to look at, but just to go through it. Exterior, 2010. Again, fewer things going wrong than 2009. Features, controls, displays, engine transmission already was low but still improved. Interior, heating, uh, air conditioning, overall driving experience, again, great. Audio and seats, improvements uh, across the board for the year. That's, this is J.D. Power's test, sir, study, excuse me. And even consumer reports on the light duty gave us a recommended rating from uh, 8 to 2009. Here's, what, here's some of the comments he said. The redesigned RAM is much improved. Braking was impressive. Road noise is all but vanished from the cabin. Um, acceleration from the 5.7 V is effortless. A switch to coil springs at the rear has dramatically improved the ride. Third party endorsements, we've been receiving them from, from all kinds of folks. Again, we talked about the Truck of Texas Awards and all kinds of positive press. Uh, from USA Today, the Houston, Texas Tribune, VX.com, Edmonds. And the Edmonds quote in particular is great. It says, our first track test of the long-term RAM was impressive, but we were quite pleased to see that after 33,000 miles of service, it was even better. So again, the quality has really improved, and you know, we're really happy to be here and take our hats off to the guys and gals here that are building the trucks. So guts and glory. Again, that's what we, we built our campaign around. That's what we built the trucks on. The Power Wagon is the most capable off-road truck. We've got a Ram chassis cab that's the most capable. Uh, 1500 is the most complete. Mega Cab is the biggest. We've got a lot of great product. And I'm going to have Casey Herbis come up right now and talk to you about a campaign that we're launching that tells the story. Casey. everybody. As Joel mentioned, my name is Casey Herb. Yes, sir. Will there be some time for questions here? Yes, absolutely. We're going to, we have this time now, we'll do a Q&A after uh, my short presentation. Uh, so as, as Joel mentioned, my name is Casey Herbis. Uh, I'm in charge of all the brand media at uh, Chrysler Group LLC, and I would like to tell everybody, I think I have the best job at the corporation. The chance to work with the marketing folks, on the, you know, the work on the design, the development of the truck, and then ultimately bit, built here at Warren Truck, and I have the chance to tell everybody about it. So I'm really blessed to work on a great brand and a great company like Chrysler Group. You know, in, in a preparation of presenting today, I was sitting with our creative director of our ad agency, and he told me it's much more of an effective and better presentation if you sound like the voiceover of all our new TV spots, Sam Elliott. So I've been smoking Paul Malls and not <laughs> sleeping very much the past week, so I'll see how down low I can get with Sam Elliott. So. So with that, as Joel mentioned, Guts and Glory, it's a brand new campaign that we just launched a couple weeks ago, right over Memorial Day weekend. So I have a chance, not a lot of folks have been able to see the work, and we want to be able to share it with you for a variety of reasons. One is, you are a huge, very important to us, and that's why we're having the event. By the way, I'm paying for this today, so thank you, Zara, uh, can come my way afterwards. Thank you. So anyway, it's very important because you guys are enthusiasts, you embrace the brand, and quite honestly, I can't spend the amount of money that a Ford and GM does. And that's where we look to folks like you to help enhance and tell folks about the brand. That's what we want to share some of our work we're doing with the uh, Ram truck. So with that, so going back a few months ago, top management at Chrysler Group sat down with the Ram team, and they said, I'm sick of the talk. Coming down 94 in Dearborn, or maybe down in the Rensen. I'm tired of the smack talk that's going on in the airways. Now we need to go hand-to-hand -hand combat. We need to jump in the trenches. We need to be able to stand up and tell people what Ram's all about. Be proud of what the Ram trucks embody. And let's go hand-to-hand, -hand. let's have a showdown. 
And so literally over the course of three months, it takes a huge amount of people over at Chrysler Group and our respective agencies to work